What's going on everybody? Got something today that I'm really excited about. Hopefully you are too. This is a King Bolin YA200. This is a basic, they label it as a basic scan tool um, for your OBD2 vehicles. So, this should be super simple. Look at the instructions. You have the scanner y 200 right there and taking this off because they bug the living hell out of me okay we have that and then we also have this little cord and i imagine this little cord is to plug in the computer maybe to update the, the scanner itself i'm not too sure but it's in there and it's important so this little scanner the ya200 is labeled as a basic scan tool so what that tells me is it should be easy to navigate, it should be easy to figure out, and easy to use. And for anybody just getting into or buying one of these to figure out their vehicle, that's important. So, let's go plug it in. Uh, if you have any questions, a quick start guide, that's what they give you here. That should steer you in the right direction. But, hopefully, hopefully I can help you out too. So let's go get this plugged in. So unfortunately, our big truck is down for the count right now. Um, it's stone dead and taken apart. So we're not gonna use that, we're gonna use this. This is a little S10, it's a 97, 96 or 97. This is just, this is my little run around truck. So anytime you're working on these, you're gonna look for an OBD2 port. Now that is what that plugs into. They're gonna look the same on every vehicle. Um, any OBD2 vehicle, mind you. So mine is right here on the S10. You probably can't see it because it's dark under there, but you're just gonna plug this in there. And you're gonna notice the scanner's gonna light up. So you 100% have to have your ignition turned on for this to read. So what this does, just to, just to give you guys a little heads up, when you plug in the OBD port down there, it's always powered. That one's got constant power. And that's what lights up your scanner but that doesn't mean that the PCM in the vehicle is awake so that's why you turn the key on wakes the car up and then you can go in here so let's see here we want just for fun we want to do that so we want diagnostics it's gonna read in there This one's got five codes. So let's check them out. Go down there, codes, hit OK. Uh, read codes. Click on that, start codes. It's got to pick here. Go, 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 go. We're working on a little Chevy. We got a random misfire at some point. Knock sensor code, cat code. EVAP code, we got we got the book, EGR valve. <clears throat> so what I'm looking at here, and when you're looking at your scanner, this is where they put the code, up top, P0300. That's a random misfire. P0327, that's a knock sensor code. P0420, that's your catalyst system efficiency code. Um, P0446, EVAP code, and so on. Um, 1406 is the EGR panel. So from here, we're just gonna play with the machine because we know we have the code. So they put it for two seconds to make sense. This is one thing that I really wanted to get into because this being a they label it as a generic scanner well this does more than a generic scanner so a generic scanner won't show you live data this scanner is a is honestly great for what it does so let's start the truck up so here's our live data now we have all sorts of things so the truck is cold first thing in the morning 
coolant temps 57 degrees short term long term fuel trims um, I'm not going to go through what all this data means to me and what it should mean to you but I just want to show you the stream the data stream so spark advance it's all set in Celsius right now I'm going to have to figure out how to get in Fahrenheit but that's that's on me um, just so much data that we have so let's go back Here we go oh, let's, let's see what that is graph display <laughs> let's see let's look at the RPM that's a good graph okay should be able to hold okay down maybe there's an option down at the bottom I guess I should have listened to the machine. Graph display. Press OK to select. Press back to enter. Okay. Go down to RPM because we want that. And back to enter. Ah. So, see now we got a little graph going. This is going to monitor RPM. Pretty, uh, pretty good little graph. The machine reacts fast, so that's important. That's a cool thing. <laughs> um, freeze frames. I'm not going to go into that because I doubt this truck has any freeze frames in it. But a freeze frame is basically a recording of a failure. Um, not every vehicle is going to record every failure. I am readiness. So for you guys, that's smog. You go into I am readiness. And they will not spog your vehicle if you have something that's not ready. See, that HCAT and this air is not ready. It's not ready. So that tells me right there that if I was in a place to smog, they wouldn't even they wouldn't even smog. They'd refuse it right there because the, the monitors aren't ready. It's got a check engine light. It's got codes in it. So that right there I can check and uh, save myself a lot of grief what else Mode six so two sensor test component test I wonder what that is so well, it's not supported this truck is pretty old so that's probably not okay battery this gives you battery live data this is great so Max being 14.5, minimum being 13.6. When you charge, when your battery charges, that's the range you want to see. That's really cool they give you that data. Um, here's the live, live up there in the corner up in the top. That is the live charge rate. So that's cool. And also, if you get stuck, if you get in here and find a code, you want to know more about the code, let's go in here. We're going to go to Chevy, because that's what we're working on. And let's say, let's say we want to look in that 1406. We're going to type it in. 1406. Hit enter. <clears throat> the value. It's going to give you the the definition so if there's any abbreviations it'll break that down EGR valve panel position circuit oh so that's fun a <laughs> um, couple other things let's see here we have a DTC button let's hit that and I think that's what that's gonna do is that's just gonna read the code stored codes yes stored codes going to Chevy we already went through the codes, we know the codes. There's a lot of codes. Let's go back to home. VIN lookup. Let's see if it'll do it. This truck is kind of old, so it might not. Yeah, it's not supported. So, your VIN lookup, uh, I'm gonna say if you're 2007, 2008 or newer, that's gonna be a good one for you. So my wife's not home. I'd plug this out of her car and do that for you, but that car is not here. And the Dodge, like I said, is down to the count um, this is your I am see this button right here I am that is your monitor I am monitors for your emissions emissions monitors or whatever they want to go 
Uh, that's going to take you straight to that screen. Hold the back button. Well, actually, was it hold the OK button? Yeah, hold the OK button. Go from there. Settings. Units. English. <laughs> I'm going to do this. I'm going to go back in here. Again. Thank you for that. Go back in the live data. All data streams. Now, we're back to Fahrenheit. So the truck's 180 degrees. This is temperatures I can understand. And then when you're done, all you have to do is just unplug your machine. And then you're done. So I honestly think this YA200 is a super cool little machine. Uh, they do label it as a basic code reader, but like you guys saw, a basic code reader is not going to give you data streams. It's not going to give you graphs. It's not going to give you half or even three quarters of the thing this thing gives you. A uh, basic code reader is just going to give you a code and send you on your way. But this thing right here is just super, super cool. And for the price point, it's a no-brainer. So, just to remind you guys, King Bowling YA200, they label it as a basic scanner. But this thing, if you're just getting into or need to diagnose something that's going on with your car and you're, you know, you're just wanting to learn about it, this is this is the place to start. This is going to be a super super useful tool.